Welcome to Doron Yoga, everyone. Padmasana, the lotus pose. It's a pose which we see a lot of times. Yogis, classic yogis sitting like this. Um, Instagram pictures like this. The Buddha, etc., right? It's a very famous pose. What's so special about this pose? Today, let's look at why we even want to sit in this pose and then how to work on getting there, okay? So the why is because when I am sitting like so, I don't need to sit on a cushion or anything else. I can actually sit really comfortable for a long time and I feel my back much more supported than in other ways. I feel my lower back having the correct lordosis, the correct lower back curve, which helps me stay tall and again support my lumbar spine and my upper thoracic spine. It also helps my hips slightly tilt forward. We call that an anterior pelvic tilt. So it's a very comfortable pose once your hips are open and you can get the leg part easily. It really helps support the back. So that's a lot of the reason why it really is comfortable and then you're independent of other accessories. How? The simple answer is all hip openers are fabulous for this. The important thing is to practice with slow, with practice slowly and with patience. Because what happens is when we practice hip openers and we push through them, we get a knee injury. And so we do not want to stress the knees. You want to keep practicing all hip openers such as pigeon, double pigeon, etc., and, and lizard in order to open the hips, but just always do two things. Push only 80 or 90%, don't push beyond that, and stay for a long time. I mean a minimum of three minutes on each side, if not five minutes. Stay longer and then the muscles really, really learn to relax. Another tip for practice, deepen your exhales. When you're staying in the hip openers a longer time, do very long exhales and you will find that the body relaxes, it shifts into the parasympathetic system, the rest and digest, the muscles relax, and then you will see much quicker release both in mus muscle and in tissue. Um, so remember, Pigeon, you can look up on our channel, we have a lot of these poses described there. Bada Konasana, the bound angle, um, the ankle to knee pose, um, the cow face pose, etc., etc. We have a whole section just on hips. Practice them, practice them, them regularly, and then when everything gets somewhat easier, start practicing the half lotus. Sitting for a while in half lotus in meditation, and then another in the other side, eventually coming to the full lotus. Keep practicing, and hey, let us know right here if you are practicing the lotus, if you're not, if you have questions about it, we're always happy to help. We'll post um, more about both the lotus and about knees and hips. By the way, you can check out the website, DoronYoga.com. Sometimes we just recently published a post about knee pain and what to do about it and how to fix it and so on and so on. So yes, YouTube is amazing, we love it, but also Instagram and also our website, Doron Yoga, wherever you look. I hope I'll see you in person one day on the mat. Thank you all so much. Namaste.